and welcome back to my channel. So we are in the car right now because we are going to a Chris Brown concert, which I'm so freaking stoked about. We decided to just kind of dress like really lazy because we're not ready yet for the concert. We're driving to our hotel right now because the concert is in Vegas and we live about two hours away from Vegas. So, are you excited? Yup. If you guys didn't watch my last video, I posted his graduation thing, which is graduation hassle thing is right here. But I said in that video that I had gotten him Chris Brown concert tickets, which Chris Brown is like his favorite artist, huh? So it's gonna be his it's gonna be Anthony's first concert and I'm really excited. Also, this was my first time leaving my baby overnight. I have never slept without her yet since she's been born, so that's kind of weird, but uh, don't get so close to this car. It's so bad. Okay, smart ass. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, so we are now on our way to the concert. I'm going to show you guys how I get ready, our outfits. This will probably be more of a vlog type thing of just our experience in general. I want to start doing more vlogs on my channel, so if you guys want to see more personal vlogs on my main channel, then comment below because I think that would be really cool. Anyway, so we're just going to probably continue our drive. We still have about 52 minutes left to go. And then I will update you guys when we get to our hotel. <laughs> and we are here. I look bald. Anything to say? Um, I pay taxes. What? <laughs> On the way. What? Alright guys, so I mostly jumped in the shower because I had self-tanned, which you can't even tell because it was a self-tanner where you're supposed to sleep in it overnight and let it soak for like six hours and it was only on my skin for maybe four hours, so I'm not as dark as I would like to be, but I'm definitely not pasty, so that's okay. So the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to blow dry my hair and I didn't bring a blow dryer, so I'm just using the one that the hotel provides. <laughs> do it, just do it. <laughs> Before yesterday started out like any other I took a stroll in the park, that's when I had it It took a while before I figured it out what it was Now I can't stop thinking about those eyes and the feeling they brought The day after that I was rolling around turned off on me. I don't know if I did something wrong. What is going on? I can't fix it. Well, that's kind of frustrating. Dang it, guys. I left my primer and lotion in the car, and that is, like, the key to setting my makeup right now. So, you guys are probably going to have to run down with me to go grab it. I forgot the freaking keys to the car. I think I'm gonna walk through what I'm gonna do with my makeup because I never really do this. The first thing I'm starting out with is this Cetaphil moisturizer. And I have a feeling it's actually gonna be pretty dang warm because it's in the car. Oh, it's not, it's not really that. Oh, it is warm. It is warm. So, oh, it is really warm. Okay. I'm just going to apply it all over my face, and to be honest, I've had a really, really dry skin, and I've had lots of acne, and I feel like that is definitely because I started slacking on my skincare routine, so, I mean, that's kind of my fault, so I can't complain, but... I've noticed now that I've like started moisturizing and washing my face more, it's going away and I'm not noticing any more current blemishes. I also just got off my period, so I mean, that's another excuse, but okay. So rubbing that in my face, I'm just going to kind of let that soak in there. 
for a minute and one thing that I always do, I don't know if this is good or bad, but I like to use a setting spray and put it over my lotion because I feel like it keeps my face hydrated for some reason. <laughs> I'm not a beauty guru guys at all, so don't don't take my notes. Okay, now that that's soaked into my face a little bit, I'm then going to be taking this B... <sighs> okay, guys, so... This is going to sound so stupid. So today, I went to Walmart real quick to get some snacks for the road trip and because I needed a primer. A primer! And I know this isn't a primer. Like, I pulled it out and I'm like, wait, this isn't even a primer. But for whatever reason, I thought BB cream was like primer, and then I read the back and it said like, it clears acne, it conceals imperfection, minimizes pores. So I just totally thought it would be like a simple primer. I just like, was not thinking in Walmart. So I open it and I'm like, wait, this is not a primer. And it definitely is not. As you guys can see, I'm going to test how light it is. I mean, it's pretty nice, so that's okay. I brought other foundations and stuff, but we're going to try this, and we'll see what we think. It's really warm, which kind of feels good on my skin, but I feel like that's going to open up my pores, so. But we'll test it out. Okay, so it definitely is super light. It didn't honestly really cover much. Um, hopefully it minimizes my pores and does something good for my skin. Um, but we're just gonna use my other foundations that I brought. So, you guys know I love drugstore makeup. I honestly think it's fine. And so I'm just gonna be using some of my drugstore makeup. I don't really like this actually. I don't want to look cakey, guys. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with this L'Oreal True Match foundation, and this is so light. Like I self tan, so it's definitely gonna be really light. Oh, girl, who do you think you are? Okay, so I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand, and then I've really, really been loving this CoverGirl Olay foundation. I honestly think it's the best um, drugstore foundation I've ever used, and ignore these nails. <laughs> Um, but it's just really moisturizing and this one is way too dark for my skin So that's why I'm gonna be mixing the two and Trying to create something that looks like my skin tone, but probably not going to be able to do that Okay, it doesn't look that bad actually Guys Guys, we have an issue. Again, this is just like such a fail, but I forgot my eyelash glue and I had brought some of these eyelashes and I have no idea to put them on, so I guess that's okay. I did bring mascara, so maybe I'll just try and work with that. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and then I'm gonna use this Bloomus Superstar X Fiber. Mascara, I don't even know who it's by. L'Oreal, it's by L'Oreal. Okay, guys, so we had to move locations because Anthony wants to shower. So next I'm just going to do my mascara, which I noticed I curled my eyelashes, then did my eyebrows, and now I'm doing mascara, but it's whatever. Guys, looking up close. Oh, this foundation, ooh, I just had a great of a job. Also, if you guys are wondering what brush I'm using, I'm using a brush by Vanity Planet, and I actually have a coupon code for this brush. This video isn't sponsored, but if you guys do want my coupon code, I will leave it in the description box below, along with a bunch of other coupon code products for Vanity Planet that I have, so go check it out. It's one of my favorite highlighters if you want a really glowy look versus a like matted look. I think this just really makes you super glowy. So I use this. I also really like it on my body as well. Okay, I use it on my collarbones. And I'll show you that later as I get dressed. 
And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, try and do something with my eyes. I normally don't really do a lot of eyeshadow, but I want to um, do a little more on my face. So that's a minute. I'm also using another brush by Vanity Planet, and it came in the same kit. So yeah, I'm going to take the same highlighter by Benefit and apply it to my eyelids. Then next, I'm going to be taking this little single Maybelline eyeshadow palette. It's pretty old. And it is kind of shimmery. It's like a shimmery white. You probably cannot tell at all. Um, but I'm just going to swatch my brush with that <laughs> and then apply it over my eyelids again. And this, I think, will kind of set your highlighter that's on your eyelids, which I really like. I'm just going to be taking this palette that I've been using for the mirror, and inside a lot of them are gone. But, oh my lord. I'm just going to be doing this brown up here and also the pink underneath it. Alright, so I'm doing this Estee Lauder little palette. There's only two left. Um, but I'm going with this one here and it's a darker one. And then I'm just going to peach in my cheeks. <laughs> To wear. I went to one concert in Vegas before and it was a Britney Spears concert. We just got free concert tickets so me and my mom went and it was really fun but we just kind of wore, I need to set this up somewhere, we just kind of wore like really casual outfits. We didn't really know what to wear. I'm pretty sure I was, I was a few years ago. I just wore like a silky top and then some jeans. Sorry I keep looking the viewfinder. Um, and then we got there and everyone was wearing tight dresses, so I was like, oh shoot, we are not dressed for this. We had no idea what to wear, so, sorry if this fan is annoying. Um, so now coming into this concert, we don't have Ava, I don't want to look like a mom. Sorry for the TV background noise, also, I'm not going to even go turn that off right now. But I don't want to look like a mom, I feel like I dress really basic. I never show cleavage. I always am just wearing loose clothing. I just want to look different than how I normally dress. I don't want to wear baggy clothes. So I'm kind of lost on what to wear. I don't know if I should wear. I got. I brought these ripped jeans that I might wear, um, but I also brought a skirt. So I don't know which one I should wear. I feel like I'm personally leaning more towards the jeans, but I don't want to show up and no one's wearing jeans and I look like a boy or I look underdressed so yeah I'm not really sure to wear but I'll try it on for you guys and show you guys that outfit all right so I have my outfit on and I'm going to show you guys how it looks so I have this top on and it's just kind of this burnt orange top I wish I could show you guys in a better way and then there's these like boyfriend style jeans and I think they are pretty cute. I just paired this belt with them which actually isn't tightening my pants at all because you're supposed to wear it a different way but I just don't like how it is. But yeah, these are the jeans. And I actually really like this outfit. I was going to wear some black sandals with it. Um, yeah, I just don't know if it's too underdressed or not. But we will see. So Anthony just went to go get some food which I'm super excited about. And I, and I think I'm just going to go paint my nails now, but I will check back in with you guys once he gets food. Oh, wait. I thought it was coming in. Anyways, I'll check back in with you guys once he brings the food. Ooh, look at this food. So good. Thanks for hooking it up, boo. 
All right, guys, so we are finally about to head out to our concert. We're just waiting. It looks like we're backstage. We're just waiting back here. We got some water. We got some water. I feel like we just partied our lives away. We were just up there dancing the whole time and fist bumping it and Anthony stood right by Jacquees so that was really cool. We had so much fun though so if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below any concerts you've been to or if you haven't been to any what concerts you want to go to. Again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Good night guys. Let's say bye. Do you want to say bye? Bye guys, love you.